That's the best. Where did that get all Leonard Skinner everywhere? I, I thought it was that oh, yeah, little free bird at the bro, end. That, Nick. <laughs> wow. How, well, how much fun you can have for not very much yeah, money. Yeah, I was going to say, welcome to <laughs> Back to Anderton's TV, mm. where today Pete and I are playing through guitar amplifiers that cost less than Taylor's aftershave. <laughs> Um, <laughs> which and, uh, isn't if Taylor was here, ways. if he was here, he would ask you to like and subscribe. <laughs> he would. Um, and <laughs> oh. we're playing through our, well, certainly my affordable pedal board, and Pete's just picked a couple of affordable pedals. This is pedals. even more affordable. Uh, and some of these gorgeous and uh, not quite so affordable, but still fairly affordable, Squire Classic Vibe oh, guitars. Affordable, 400, less than £400, pounds, right? Yes, is it? but today's star is the new <laughs> Behringer. HA series guitar amplifiers. We don't know what HA stands for, do we? Heart. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's like, it must stand ha. for heart. Perhaps, heart. It, perhaps it doesn't stand for anything. Maybe it's just ha. ha. Yeah. Um, so we've got a little 10 watt here with a six inch speaker. We've got a 20 watt with an eight inch speaker. And we have got a 40 watt the, with a 10 inch speaker. The class. Uh, um, they are absolutely, <laughs> in true Behringer style, a nod towards another very popular kind of little... Um, affordable yeah, guitar amplifier definitely got that kind of Marshall MG vibe with them that the sort of knobs are the same the kind of the they're not they're not like a circuit rip off what, what do you like mean visually. like what do you mean yeah exactly uh, you got the nice white piping around the edges and all that, the silver front it's very cool and the anyway yeah it looks cool man it's cool and affordable this crazy is crazy affordable thing, this so is the whole thing. even the big one that Pete is playing there oh, which we... I'm pretty you know when I first started playing guitar I had a 12 watt little guitar amplifier that if I cranked up, I could do those kind of school, like um, in front of assembly kind of yeah, vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so this at 40 watts is more than capable of doing that yeah, kind I mean, of little diddy gig. Yeah, I mean, that's loud. This is loud. I'm not running it very um, well. Yeah. The but 20 we ha you haven't heard yet. Obviously, Pete was plugged into the 40. The 20 you haven't heard yet. And the 10 was what I was playing with. And we'll go through. Should we, should we just go through? We need to do some okay. quick tones, man. So you know. if you are shopping on a budget of less than 50 quid to get your guitar amplifier, you might want to look at the HA10. Uh, it has built in a distortion effect. Its sort of default Stor sound is a clean tone. It has a three band EQ, treble, middle and bass. It has a built in distortion effect. It has a little six inch speaker on the uh, inside this open backed cabinet. And it has a little uh, micro, uh, like a little mini jack socket, sorry, to put some headphones in. Or uh, flip side, you could run um, a music, like an MP3 player into here and, and jam along to your backing that, tracks. That logo there is just an old iPod. Isn't it? Look. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's literally it's like, it's like, an, like, it's like an iPod iPods like that yeah. anymore. <laughs> uh, so I was using um, through my pedal board uh, oh, like a, a affordable reverb and stuff like that, but I've switched all that off now. And here is the clean sound through this uh, the neck pickup of this telly. Lovely. I've heard a lot worse at this price. And I think that's the thing with Behringer stuff. Value for money, it's insane, it is. insane it is. Uh, gear. They do, they do that kind of you know, affordable uh, music gear probably better than anybody. But, you know. So, you know, I've got the bass end pretty much all the way up here. I take a bit of the treble off because, you know, the, the, a six inch speaker is not ideal for guitar tone. Uh, so you do want to kind of compensate by adding a bit of bass, rolling a bit of treble off. Mm -hmm. But it sounds okay. I was yeah, using gonna... the TC Sky Surfer, which oh, so is there's a no super, reverb in this one, then. No, super affordable that. reverb pedal. Twenty nine quid, right? Yeah. yeah. Now you know, you so not too bad. Um, the overdrive channel, you press this button in here. There's no foot switch way of switching to the overdrive channel. That's a feature that comes a little further up the range. But, uh, so with not too much gain, like gain at nine o'clock. A little bit tinny sounding, but you know, you've got to be realistic about what you can expect at this kind of price, but it sounds okay. You know, it's kind of, kind of reminds me of like, that's where all the kind of punk band sounds kind of come from. Yeah. Just like, you know, dirty little angry sounding amplifiers. But yeah. Gets a bit smoother as you turn the gain up. Well, 
Was that Psalm 69? I have no idea. No, I was trying to be like a <laughs> bit of Blink 182 or something. Oh, yeah. We dig up the seven string there for you. Then. Oh, my goodness oh. me, there's a lot of hiss and hum if we go maximum gain. <laughs> A bit angry sounding there. Yeah. Um, I mean, as you say, what do you expect for that kind of money? I yeah, mean, it's... I was using, again, if you've not watched the video where Pete and I sit on the floor and put together affordable pedal boards where we don't spend any more than kind of 50 or 60 pounds on any one pedal, go watch up there. We sit on the floor and play here, Scrabble. Here was a couple <laughs> of my favorite kind of combination pedals, a Majus by TC and a Sweet Cream by Tone City. and. <laughs> And you can see, you get much smoother gain uh, tone if you use a, a, an external pedal. Yes. Anyway, that's the 10. Uh, that, as I said, is uh, less than 50 quid uh, and a great place to kind of start mm. if you want to play the guitar and you need a little amplifier. Yeah. Why don't we do the 40 and then we'll, I'll, I'll plug the 20 in right at the end. Let's do that. So 10 inch uh, 40 watts here with more features, of course, than uh, the smaller ones. You have got uh, the same kind of uh, line in for your MP3 player phone or whatever, so you can stream music to it and jam along. You can put headphones in if you're sitting at night time and don't want to disturb your parents or whatever, next door neighbors. Uh, and then you've got a line out here, so you can actually take a line out into uh, a computer interface or whatever and we call it there and there. And then here is the foot switch that we were talking about, which then switches because it is a two channel amplifier. So you've got a, an overdrive channel and a clean channel on here. Foot switch isn't included in the price. It's a two button foot switch. Uh, and I think most latching any brand of two button foot switch will work with off. that amplifier. Exactly, and on the back of this is really cool because you've got an, a, an output for an, uh, an external speaker. Ooh. So say you've got another, you know, or you, you're, you're happy with this, but you need a little bit more power when you're out there gigging with your friends or, jet, uh, you know, having, going to rehearsal rooms. Just have another one by 12 cabinet or even maybe a two by 12 cabinet and stick it in there and then you get a bit more volume for your money. Uh, again, this is under 100 pounds, so it's, it's pretty good value. Um, Let's start with the clean channel. So you've got uh, volume here, and then you have got treble, middle, and bass, and then you've got the reverb in here. So we'll start with that and see. I've said it, I'm probably running it a bit too loud to be honest, but. Um, um, so let's start here. This is the, this is again the Squire, Esquire um, classic vibe in the beautiful purple, of course. Beautiful. Because that sounds more better. More better? More that better. That's why is we it? use purple. Yeah, more better. Uh, and it sounds like this. Nailed and the reverb. Perfectly, they perfectly really fine. nailed the reverb yeah. on that. I'm running it, I'm kind of running it not very, very loud because it. <laughs> Let me see if I turn it up a bit more. Bit too much. It. A bit too much. I, I think the but clean sound is is it's it's clean and it's got lots of bottom end on it. Yeah, I mean I would roll the treble down the same as you just to compensate for that ten inch. It's only a ten inch speaker, so you might want to. And depending on your guitar, it's actually, it's actually a Bugera speaker. Yeah. So that's another amp line that I'm quite excited about. We we oh, yeah. kind of um, never really done Bugera amplifiers before 2021, and that's another kind of crazy, insane range of valve amplifiers owned by. Uh, Behringer. So we've got those videos coming. So please like and subscribe, and then you'll get oh, notifications oh, 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 for when those videos go live. <laughs> yes, and uh, here's the test. Mm -hmm. 
Right, so that's kind of the clean tunnel. You know, you got your extremities so you can get more bass and more treble depending on your guitar. Um, but let's just put a little bit of overdrive on. I've got one of these Seuss overdrive pedals from TC Electronics down here. Also very affordable, so I'm keeping it very affordable today. We're, we're keeping it affordable. We're keeping it affordable. Absolutely. Uh, I'm running the drive quite high. <laughs> Kind of, do you have uh, a chorus pedal? Because then you could literally do the last train home. Uh, <laughs> I could go and take the last yeah. train home. I, absolutely, I could. Uh, but let's, it, let's, you know, you, you might not have an overdrive pedal, so you yep. might want to use the overdrive that's in built. Uh, so you click this little switch here, and then you've got a gain and a volume for that. So you can go low gain, see what that does. <laughs> That sounds bit good, more, good sounds really good, bit more volume. <laughs> what kind of gain is in here, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> It's great, man. Yeah, it's fine. What about back the gain down on the Zeus and chuck that over the top of a of a, of a gain tone in there? Let's try that. It's a good little amplifier, that. <laughs> yeah, it's great, man. For the money, it's great. Says tones there, right out of the uh, box it's, for not very much money. It's great. Right, it, it, that that is very good. I can kind of feel like. I mean, that's fine, isn't it? Yeah. That's that yeah, would well, last you, you can, a long time. Yeah, especially with the line out, you can have another. You buy another cabinet, a 112 cabinet, put on the it so you get a bit more volume, yeah. and you use those 40 watts. I, I always kind of think with starter packs nowadays, where typically the guitar starter pack comes with an amp like this, or in a lot of cases, you know, when you're shopping at some of those like 99 pound starter amps, yeah, yeah. like way worse than this one. Yeah. Um, but even when you get this, it, for me, it's always the first thing you want to change is the guitar player. Exactly. Because the guitar's kind of not like those, some of those like Squire Strat packs and stuff. You know, the guitar's okay, but the amp's normally the it's bit the amp, It's the weak link. But if you just yeah. went straight in with one of those off the bat, there's yeah. almost no need to change that until you're ready to move into like maybe a big valve amplifier or something. Maybe. But, hey. Uh, okay, so lastly then, HA20, and maybe we'll jam out on this. So this yes. is the one that sits in the middle. It's got the eight inch speaker. Um, it's got the MP3 player input, the headphone MP3. output, and the, uh, does anyone call them MP3 anymore? You I, do. I don't know, I do. You do. To go with my Apple Macintosh. Um, <laughs> my HP. Uh, <laughs> my... Uh, line output, as Pete said on there, if you do want to go into a computer. I don't think these line outputs are what are called emulated outputs, so if you're going to run that into your computer, you might have to add some speaker emulation yeah. in the software. Um, we do have reverb built in, which is very cool, so I'm not using the reverb on the board anymore. Three band EQ, uh, and then again this idea of a of a, a channel like two channels, clean and dirty, but no foot switch to switch them. So you got to manually just use. You have this to have a long stick front. if you're on stage yeah. and just poke it like that. Uh, but or hire somebody, it's, your it's little a... little brother or little sister, to click the switch in for five pounds. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong. Absolutely not. Got to be honest with you, if this middle one here is only 20 quid more than this one, which I think roughly speaking it is, just you do like an extra week's worth of paper round or whatever it takes to earn 20 quid Did you now. have a paper round? I certainly did. Do um, some gain on that lead. Put some gain. gain okay, yeah, so gain I'll use the gain channel first. Hello. Uh, so gain I want at about 10 o'clock and uh, let's see what happens here. I like, you big, need to... I like the big one better, a bit more. That's interesting. Yours seem to have more girth, basically. Less 
gain, like a more open, this is quite... It's more mid-rangey. Yeah. It's a small lost speaker, that's what. Oh. So there you go. That's great, man. It's great. That's it's good. Great. And then it's if great. I crank the distortion, in. distortion. Or whatever. It's a bit, a li little bit kind of uh, fuzzy when you get up to yeah. that kind of volume. But it does those blues tones and the kind of those kind of oh, there rocky you go. tones perfectly. I Great. kind of you know, things. it's crazy, isn't it? You got you know, we sell some guitar amplifiers that are three thousand quid each, mm -hmm. and they sound great. And then you plug one in that's. 60, 70 quid or whatever, and you go, sounds pretty it's fine. Well, it's you know, fine. It's like, you have just to start somewhere, guitar. man. You have to start somewhere. Absolutely. You know, that's, that's, you know it's, this is for the money. It's great. Yep. It's just great. So there you, there you are. Go. Links below to uh, yeah. these three fine and dandy amplifiers. We'll probably put some links to the guitars. And as I said, uh, and go and watch that video that we did on putting an affordable pedal board together. It'll be up there. Because uh, yeah. that is cool and a great place to start. It for, is. You know, if you're, if you're just I just wanted to guitar. show that you don't need very much a looper pedal and that you can have it's great it's great you know looper a pedals jam. Looper Again, pedals, that, is there I a mean, video what? up there about loop there probably yeah, isn't well, but could be looper pedals looper are pedals. another awesome practice tool for, for you know guitar players yeah, exactly okay and fun as you could see fun for not very much money boom that's what this is thank you very much for watching thank you au revoir see you soon